Hello again. Rise and shine. <gasps> oh my god. We talked about that meme in class today. Oh my gosh. Okay. About... If you know where that's from, you know where that's from, but it's whatever. Rise um so welcome to part two of our huge, amazing <laughs> best ever haul. Like not I said before, clickbait. this is not clickbait. This it's is the best good. haul we've ever done, best weekend I've ever sourced. Yep. This is the clothing side with the pants and the jeans and the tops and dresses and everything. So that's what this the is. Garments. Wait till the end. That's when we're gonna show our multiple best items in the whole oh. two parts so stay tuned also i will have my email below if you're interested in anything email me or you can always leave a comment we'll give you guys better prices on whatever you want and yeah we're just gonna jump into it because we got a lot <laughs> okay so we're gonna do five five as usual this is just studio works um brand don't matter it's vintage and it's animal prints really in right now. It's a chunky chenille sweater and it's a plus size, it's 3X. It was at the bins, I thought I would give it a shot. I love plus size sweaters, they're cute. These are Chino by Anthropology, size 27. I like this like, this stone wash or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. They're also a really interesting kind of color. Like a green. Yes. Kinda. These are also <laughs> Chino. Size 27, probably the same person. These are slim fit. These are really cute. Similar color. They do have one light, like, bleach spot in the back, but it almost kind of blends into the pattern. You can't tell. Well, excuse me. I have These, I wish, were able to fit me. They're Gap. Again, not a brand I almost ever pick up. I really like Gap jeans personally. They're yeah, comfortable. They're size 26 regular, and they've got these really cute, like, plaid patches in the distressing, and they're, like, a nice straight fit. Size 26, if I didn't say. From the bins. This is a Nuitag Zara skirt. I thought this was a really cute pattern. This is a size small and it comes with a belt attached. It was cute. First for me, I also have a Nuitag, backwards, Nuitag Zara little like tweed skirt. Super cute, uh, size small. Next, I have a pair, oh my God, catch me saying next in every, Every time I like have something else. Um, these are joie jeans in a size 24. And they're just a classic kind of like mid-rise skinny jean. We'll just count this as two. Um, okay, so I have not one, but two of the exact same Love Your Melon hat. I found this one in the bins. Thought I must have thrown it back because I found this one. I took this one back to my cart and said, oh wait, I have two. Awesome. He finds them like every time. I, I've never I found one. Love them. If you don't have one, get one. They're super comfortable and they're very warm. And they're Those just sell pretty good. Like beanie. And I did wash like them a ton, but because they do sell pretty um, good. these hats make me nervous, so they have been sanitized. Um, this is an Anthropology moth sweater, size small, cute color. It's a really. That might be a little too much green, <laughs> but it's like the same color. It is. Um, it's just this really cute kind of like, it's a wider kind of drapier sweater with like a dolman sleeve and a little like boop, boop, boop. It's cute. This is a Zara. This is from a regular Goodwill. It's really cute. Zara Trifolic. And it is a size small. You can't tell. Some it could of definitely fit that. a medium though. Oh yeah. But... It's really soft too. <sighs> One of my new faves to find. Second time finding it ever. Beta brand. Better brand. If you don't know Beta brand, they're like leggings that look like dress pants and they're very nice. Like they feel very like high quality leggings. They feel really good. They look just like dress pants. Um, these are an extra small and they're the straight leg. My last pair was a boot. Oh yeah, you've got a pair of pants before. Um, This was in the bins. New tag, Topshop. I do not really pick up Topshop unless it's in the bins. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would have got new tag at a Goodwill. Feels Probably not a skirt though. But it's kind of a cute pattern though. It is. And it's a size eight. It's kind of expensive retail, which I don't understand. Yeah. Love finding Madewell jeans. Unfortunately, in our area, we don't find them like that often. Which is shocking because we find a lot of Madewell. Yeah. But these are really so cute, whenever we find them, it's like a real like treat. It's a good day. You find a good um, Madewell jeans. These are the high riser skinny and they're size 29 and they're distressed, which is really cute. They're really cute. With the like vintage you wash. So those will do really well. Those were from a Goodwill. What's this? This oh. is really cute. This, this I, I would have got at a Goodwill. Um, it's top a, shop. It's a jumpsuit with a big old leg. It must be cute. the same person because it's a top shop size eight and both things were in the bins. So, but yeah, 
That I would have got at a Goodwill. It's really A cute. jumpsuit slash like boiler suit. And who doesn't love jumpsuits? You'd get at a Goodwill. Okay. So this is long. I tied it in a knot because I didn't want it to get on the floor. So let me, it is a free people, a really, really, really long cardigan, size small. Whoop. Um, and it's this really fun, like, I don't really know how you would describe this, like, knit. But it's like a floor-length little cardigan. The bottom has, like, a high-low on it. And there's the back. It's really cute. So I'm gonna need to, like, tie that in and out again before I put it away. Um, this was handed to me by a, a very lovely woman we met at the bins. It is a Sundance sweater. It is an XL. Um, I will pick up Sundance if it's really boho wheat or this, because it's cute. Um, it's a plus size, well not plus size, it's a bigger size. And it's this really cute, chunky, like, I don't know what kind of pattern would you call that? Um, geometric, there we go. Pattern, another sweater. This one is Zara, size small. I handed him this. Yes. Because I was finding too much good stuff. Which, I mean, like, you know. <laughs> Not a if problem. If it doesn't benefit him, it'll benefit me somehow. Um, so this is really, really cute, kind of really chunky, white knit sweater with a little mock neck. Um, this was from the bins, and I only grabbed it because I thought it was cute, and it was new ties. Um, it's Jessica Simpson, which, like, I have legitimately never picked up Jessica Simpson. Or even Simpson. considered. Picking. But, like, it's New Tags 2X, and it's super, super, super cute with this, like, little embroidery on the shoulder and on the back. And it's just a little, like, hat and jacket. She cute. Next is a men's item, because I'm a hashtag posh man. Um, it is a Pendleton washable wool. I don't know what this is. Um, it's a quarter zip jacket it's a full zip oh it's a full zip okay interesting um with this kind of and this like really cute like burgundy knit wow it washes me up i'm a <gasps> ghost um i've never picked up pendleton before but i have heard it can do pretty good in the men's stuff so i'm gonna give a try in the bins this was at a normal thrift store it's a saint john <sighs> a um it's i've so noticed cute. since taking pictures it has a small spot down at the hem right there and it also has like a pinhole but i mean i don't know saint john always has its issues it seems like and it wasn't very expensive so i'm mm -hmm. not too mad and, and it's, it's a cute. really cute design this love finding j crew made well like dustery or at least long open cardigans they do so well. This is actually a linen blend, too. It's really soft. And this is a size medium. People sell these for quite a bit, and so will I. <laughs> this was in the bins. Really cute. It has, like, a distressed hem. Like a raw hem on it. And it's a size small made well. Like, not denim, but, like, chambray. Chambray. Button up. Chambray, if you will. New brand that I'm not labeling as a bolo because we'll see how it does. It's a molo. It's called Endless Rose. Maybe on the look. It's <laughs> sold at Revolve sometimes, but I think it's also it's sold at Stitch Fix. It's really pretty though. So I'm going to probably list it as Revolve or just as Endless Rose, but some of their stuff mm -hmm. is like kind of expensive. Some's just Meh. not too expensive. I'm going to try it. It's cute. Meh. And... I only get this brand when it's really cute, and I mm -hmm. thought this was really cute. It's Banana Republic, but and it's, like, it's what it's are they call it? Right? It's just like laser cut kind of yeah. and scalloped. I know that scalloped but, edges. Yes, mm -hmm. size scalloped four potatoes. I thought it was really cute, so I got that. Okay, next for me, this is also a new brand. It is New Tags, uh, size small. It is Riviera Sun, which I have yet to Google. Um, and it's just this really, really cute jumpsuit. I think it's meant to be, like, a beach cover-up. Um, but any hoozy. It's really cute. It's really flowy. And it's good for, like, island vacations or just, like, you know, you have a margarita and put on some, like, Caribbean music and just run around your house. That would be fun. Um, uh, this is from a Goodwill. It is J. Crew size small. Size eight. Wow, I can't read. And it's this really cute little like gray kind of like sporty looking crop top with the little like tie <laughs> detail. Oh no, it's fine. With the little like tie detail on it, and that can be tied. I didn't know if it could, but I photographed it last night, and it could. So he. <laughs> um, and that was a size eight. If I didn't say, this is. I don't pick this brand up a lot, but I do, and it's cute. 
This is soft surroundings, and you can't really tell because they have these like dinky little plastic tags. It says size medium, and it's just this really cute kind of like laser cut hoodie, or not hoodie, crew neck Sweatshirt. with the like zipper details on it, and just a plain back. It's really cute. Next is a Saturday Sunday. This is a size small. I think Ryan said he's sold this one before. I have. It's pretty cute. Let me read Saturday, Sunday usually does pretty good anthro wise for me. Okay, so for all my plus size princesses and queens out there, <gasps> I found some good stuff. Can so, that like, be like a bar plus size princess. This That'd be amazing. is so cute. <laughs> this is a size four. It's, it's so cute. So cute. It says like Seattle Rock Fest. Really, really cute. And the back has a cool like hole on it too. Yeah, there's like a keyhole in the back and front. This one I thought was really cute too. It's kind of like that Henley burnout property, property of, of the beach. Oh, it's so soft. It's got a split <gasps> front like that. This one's a size three. This is also a three. This one's all kinds of. This is really cute too. She See, all the stuff is so cute. cute. It's really a long this buys all lace. It looks beautiful. Like floor length. It's really like, pretty. Not Kimono? Duster, like, yeah. Lace duster, maybe? Size three. Uh, an overlayer. <laughs> um, really cute. I don't know well. what the technical name for it is. Mm -hmm. And another Torrid. Again, size three. So they're all threes and one's a four. It's a lace oh, this front is adorable. sweatshirt. Wow, no, I'm just ditter. Oof. That's really pretty, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First for me, another men's item because I am a hashtag posh man. Um, it is a Vineyard Vines men's quarter zip. These are my favorite ones to sell because they always sell like instantly for 45, 30 to 45 bucks um, in the like preppy, like mint green, whatever. And then there is the whale and this is a size medium and there's a teeny, teeny, teeny little like, where even is it? There's a little, little, little mark on it, like right in here somewhere, but like you really can't tell unless you're like up close with it, but that's fine. Okay, next is a Madewell flannel, which I've never found one before, but it doesn't surprise me that they made one that looks like this. Um, it is a size extra, extra small, but... It's like a thick flannel. It's a thick flannel. It's a flannel. really good, it's like, really fall, cute. winter flannel. Um, this could fit up to a small, according to their website. So, okay. Um, and it just has the, like, blue and white check. Next is a little Free People kind of, like... It's a top. There's a design on it. Blouse. That's all that I can kind of give. It's a button down and it is a size extra small. It's like it, partially sheer. Mm -hmm. Well, if you hold it up, if you wore it, probably not. Yeah, if you had like a little tank top underneath it or something. It's cute. Okay. And the next is a joie. Next. Next. next is a little next. joie flannel. Um, does this button all the way down? It does. It's really cute. It has this kind of like blue and white. I don't want to say it's not buffalo check. It's checked. Um, it's a size medium, and there's the back, <laughs> the back. Okay, this I already have, and it is like, oh, it's like sunny days with something, 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 something. It's mm -hmm. a free, that's like the name of this top. Oh. It's a free people, we the free, green, I have it in white, that's why. Uh, like really comfortable sweatshirt with this big old spot. chunky zipper on it. Yeah, there's a little spot on it, but like I'll wash it, no problem. Um, it is We the Free, I believe it's a small. It is a small, and, the, and then it's just like plain in the back. She cute. Okay, besides those pants, this is like one of my only anthro things I found. Mm -hmm. It's really cute though. Little Angel of the North is like hit or miss with how cute it is, but this one's very cute. This if you didn't one. know, Angel of the North is anthro. It's a size medium. Cute little white cardigan. Crochet type situation. A knit. This I thought was really cute. This is a really oh, nice yes. denim mini dress slash tunic. Apparently it's both. It's a According thick to denim online. Too. This is the sleeve. It's got this nice stitching detail. Big pockets in the front. And it's free people and it's a size large. Oh, they're like French cuffs. Yeah. That's really cute. Really cute. That was a Vins find. So that was that's a, a good really Vins find. find. This is a new Bolo brand, which if we do a new video, it'll be in it. Jess on Instagram is jealous because she's wanted to find this for a while, but I guess I did. Love Jess. Smith, it's called. Smith Les Vistes. 
Mm -hmm. It's got this nice like satin collar. It's really pretty. It's made in Canada. It's got this like kind of scrunched button like elbow length sleeve. It reminds me of that like Elizabeth and James blazer. They retail at like seven hundred dollars. So they expensive. Cute. Not, Not as cute as something <laughs> that's coming up of Ryan's of the same brand, but Rebecca Taylor size twelve. Really cute. This retailed mm -hmm. at like six hundred bucks. She's really not cute. really tweed, but a tweed similar. like material. And <laughs> this was really cute too. So this I saw hanging, and I was going to get it. It is Tadashi Shoji size fourteen. It's so pretty. And then I like felt something inside, and I pulled out a string that was coming out like this. <laughs> She's new a tag. And out plopped that it was new a tag, and they did not price accordingly. I don't think it was like thirteen bucks, which at the place we were at, that's pretty basic for like a dress. So I don't think they saw it. It has this like metallic. It's like a metallic silver embroidery. Oh, it's God. really cute. It's flicking me with the tag. You've been hitting me with every sleeve. I'm not pulling it. It's a bigger denim jacket. Pretty, or no, it does. It's really cute. So like, karma. No. Yes. Uh-uh. Okay. Okay, I only have a few more things. I have my I'm... one amazing find left. Oh, oh no. I have two more things than an amazing find. Okay, so this is a Madewell little like tie front button down this is so cute i freaking love this it's adorable and i love it more because it's an xl and i love made well in bigger sizes um okay i found these two in the bins and i snatched these from somebody so he uh not as in like stall them but like he was going for them and i was going for them too so i just um it is a authentic vintage tommy hilfiger big spell out t-shirt Oh my god, these are insane. These sell for like... As I, you hit me in the face. Like, um, I, I've seen people sell them for upwards of like 125-ish. Which like, I have no idea if that's how much I'll get for them. But like, <laughs> I sold a Wiz Khalifa t-shirt for 75 bucks. So like, I'm calling on that good karma again. Um, It's a size XL. This would be really cute if it was cropped. And it has this like weird little tag on it. Which apparently makes it worth more. I have no idea. I was really tempted to keep these, but, like, I like money. Um, and then we have another Tommy Jeans t-shirt. It's This one's really cute with the, like, blue neck and the little spell out on it. And it's just a gray. And this one is, again, an XL. She's cute. Okay. Should I do my one good um, thing, or no, should you do your... finish my two, like, meh. Okay. Well, not meh. This is not meh, meh for me. This is like Lucky Boots for me. Made well, like I just said with the J Crew, they're like open, longer dusters. Do so well for me, and they make me a decent chunk of money. So like, mm -hmm. really cute from Michael the bins. Spiders. I had oh, to like geez. completely recover this thing. It was so pilly, and it's decent now. But like with that, it's worth the effort. And then this was at a normal thrift store. It's Bowden. It's this really nice. Wool. It's such really good nice wool. It's, it's a so size cute. US 10, which I don't know if Bowden goes like normal sizing. A US 10 in Bowden might be like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I can't when, guarantee when he that lists is. it, he'll put a size. Shot. Um, it does have like a little hole, there's a little nick in something, but it's lined so it doesn't like it's not an actual like hole all the way through. It's just kind of like a little issue, a flaw, and in it's the really wall. hard to see too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have two insane finds. Ryan has. So you, I have one. You go okay. first. So my one, let me grab my big amazing special find. It's this really, really, really pretty. No, it's not Chanel. No, oh my god, <laughs> it looks I, like it. I would be sitting here with those like money sign glasses on. This is a Chanel jacket. Are you kidding me? Like a green like visor skinny. and those like dollar sign sunglasses that people wear to like Vegas parties. Anyway, um, it has like embroider, not embroider, beadwork on this the sleeve on the pockets and then just a plain back and it is Rebecca Taylor size 10 and it's also new tag for $550 and they didn't mark it up at all it was like $13.99 and I had 20% off so not only is his a lot cuter than mine it's also new with tag it's so pretty. they retail the uh, same but like this to me would be worth uh, with the like fringe on the sleeves and then this like funky little patch underneath it for movement. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I love it. Okay. If you're, if you're impressed by that, get ready. Mm -hmm. Strap yeah, down. Y'all better, better buckle up. Buckle in. It's a big one. So this looks like just a grandma sweater. Kind of is, but that's okay. Yeah. Low key is one. Like, mm -hmm. It's got these rose embellishments. got pearl buttons down. Um, has some marks on it, whatever. Kind of feels like St. John, so I knew it was a good thing. <laughs> and then I, the I read the tag. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know. Balma. But it's Balmain. Balmain. Balmain is so oh my God, it's filthy, insane. ridiculous, expensive. This is an authentic Balmain. It's an older one. It's vintage. Um, it's a size small. This is an authentic tag. At first, I had to do a little bit of research. But she real. She got stains all over her. So I'm going to figure out what to do with this. Someone told me that OxyClean <gasps> Ooh, yeah. can, can help. Well, can these little embellishments come off? Really? No. So, um, no. So... We'll see. That's going to take a little while to get listed because she needs a little bit of work. We need to do low glue then. Uh, I got a good price. Oh, but that's not all. This is the highlight for both of us for the whole weekend by far. It's insane. Get ready. Okay, everybody buckle up. So for nine fifty with 25% off, I found... The wrist crack. <laughs> A Montclair jacket. Um, I can't. At first, I just read this tag and it said "Made in America," and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what this is." Then I read this snap and it said Montclair, and I was like, "That's uh, not real." I mean, me? like, <laughs> that's not real. Like, whatever. It's just a fake Montclair. And so then I saw this, and that looked pretty good. There's symbols an M with a chicken behind it. Is it? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a rooster. Where? Um, huh, I never knew that. And That's that looked chicken. really good because the fake ones are pretty sloppy. Looking then like I saw this, family. which is really well printed, really clean stitching. That's a good Things label. were looking up. <laughs> then... I noticed there's a little pocket to protect the tag. So like that's already a bougie. That's it's like nine sheets, you which is always a sign of expensive stuff. You have like a ream of paper. Not only is it down, <laughs> like certified down, 100% authentic with the hologram tag in. And oh, no, put it's it back in the literally new without tag. Like there ain't a dang flaw on this thing anywhere. All of the hardware and the zippers have zero tarnishing whatsoever. It, this isn't gonna fit. My mom and I tried it on, and we agree that it's a, um, it's a woman's large. Because it is woman's, I know mm -hmm. that, and it fits like a woman's large, so that's what it is. Montclair jackets are about like $1,500 plus. I was going to say, they're easily over $1,000. So It's warm now. Get ready for it. Yeah, it's really warm. It fits me like perfectly. So of course my bougie ass is like, hmm. <laughs> oh, and it Should has lampo zippers. <laughs> yeah, oh, and it has lampo zippers, which is a good sign. I've never seen it on a coat before. This um, so I'm like, should I keep it? And I'm like, okay, or should I get like hundreds we of dollars? Have, like, we did good this weekend. Told you this wasn't clickbait. Uh, this was the best, most thrilling, like thrill ride of a sourcing weekend. It was so much fun. Ever. Like ever, 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 so ever. Fun. It was ridiculously amazing to the point of like you almost question if this is real i think how much money i'm gonna make for this. <laughs> um so yeah let us know what your uh. favorite thing was from the total part one part two mm -hmm. stay tuned saturday for a what sold saturday this week's going okay so far so that's I was good gonna say, we are, slober is speeding up we are back and running and we will we bring you one we're up and running. we'll bring you one from minnesota <laughs> though because it's my brother's birthday weekend he turned 20 20 and yeah so thank you It'll for watching subscribe and turn notifications we will see you saturday bye goodbye